welcome to Colorado Off-Road. This is Kim and Kevin Tanner. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. That really helps us a lot. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. If you haven't been reminded enough already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please subscribe. Thank you. So as you saw today, we're on Billings Canyon. It's in Grand Junction, Colorado. Our home this is one of uh, my favorite trails. Um, we're here today because uh, our friend Randy, who has been very supportive of my photography, uh, <clears throat> that's my full-time job is photography, and, and uh, you don't really see it much. With, if, if you're watching our videos, you, you will hardly notice that that's my full-time job, but it pretty much started because Randy showed someone, showed someone a photo that, uh, that I took, and he liked it, and uh, it just kind of, that was a few years ago, and it just kind of started from there. And so uh, I've always wanted to uh, record him when he finished his buggy because he's been building it for a, a couple, couple years, a year and a half now. Yeah, I mean, even before he was building it, he had plans to build it forever. Yeah, well, and I wanted to record him doing some hard trails in his uh, Forerunner buggy that he had before which is why we're even on this trail because he rolled it the last time he was on this trail with this group in 2019 so this is kind of like a redemption trail for him yeah, exactly, like a redemption yeah. ride and we were gonna record him in his old one which wasn't it wasn't nearly as nice it was just a modified forerunner leaf sprung it was just a stock yeah vehicle. i mean it was cool for a forerunner but it yeah, wasn't a buggy it wasn't a tube chassis buggy i mean because this is a buggy right here but this is a jeep so it's it, it started as a jeep not as pipes on the ground you know yeah that's true um anyway so we're here to record uh randy's uh in, in his toyota buggy that this one right here so this is randy uh 40 inch raisin hell too yeah raisin hell too his first buggy was called raisin hell raisin um, as in like a raisin that's from a dried grape mm -hmm, that yeah, is that's the color like the <laughs> that california, is the pun the ra yeah on the hood he has like a california uh, raisin uh, one of the mascots this day from the like the 90s they would sing the commercials to <laughs> yeah. find reasons. Um, anyway, his buggy is on 40 Intrepidors, uh, totally built by Prophets uh, Resurrection Land Cruisers in Austin, Colorado. Uh, you'll see during the day, you can, it's just like first time taking it on a hard trail, maybe sick second time i'm not sure yeah i mean he took it on hell's revenge but and if you've been on trails, hell's revenge you know that's yeah, not really a buggy another, trail oh and steel bender but that's not again, again i've yeah i've done my jeep yeah you take modified jeeps on that um and his tires are also uh brand new so they're aired up higher than they need to be which you will see during this video <clears throat> that uh he probably would have been doing a lot better had his tires been down at you know five psi wear Block trepidors belong, but they're brand new, and he's still breaking in the sidewall. And those price tags, yeah, they're like $800 per tire, so I totally hard understand. to forget. Yeah. yeah, you can almost buy a whole set of my tires for $800, not one, yeah, for 35s. So, but regardless, this is the last guy in our group, right? Yeah, this is Joe. He, uh, his buggy is amazing. He, he's done his trail a bunch of times. You'll see today, he knows he knows his way around that buggy. Yes, and this trail. oh my gosh. Picks so perfect does, lines yeah, here today. So does this guy. Um, this a rock bouncer? Yeah, that's a rock. That's us. Hello. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> that one guy's. Oh, oh and this guy, this is. He. Uh, just a drive shaft popped off that you see the U joint caps came off. He put it back on. This is the same buggy. He had it going within, I don't know, 20 minutes. Yeah, I can't uh, believe that. Yeah, it was pretty fast. It was low stress. It was. Yeah. You can tell you're with buggy people. <laughs> yeah, when it's like, oh, just another U joint. Um, He's on, I think the first guy's on 42s or 43s, and then the Rock Pounce is on 37s. Randy here is on 40s. Joe and the Blue Buggy's on, I, I think, 42s as well. So uh, smallest tire size today is 37, 37 is what you're telling yeah. me. And it's on a Rock Bouncer. Yeah. So yeah, and I think he do with wants that what you will. to increase the tire size. I don't know if he just bought that recently. I'm not sure. Oh, I think he was talking about that. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, and I kind of got sidetracked. This is Billings Canyon. Um, again, why we're here recording and not driving, because I have driven my TJ on this trail. Um, this trail is a medium buggy trail, but it's an extreme Jeep trail. It is. Yeah, I would describe it like that. That's a good one. You have to have armor. You have to have, <clears throat> you have to know your rig. You have to be willing to... <laughs> You know. Yeah, I mean, this is almost right at the beginning of the trail. Yeah. You saw right when we were chatting the gatekeeper, the gatekeeper and it's a gatekeeper. Yeah. yeah, and I went the same route this guy uh, did on the gatekeeper. I did not 
Um, and my Jeep, I can squeeze through the V right here. Uh, it's pretty. Yeah, I don't think you TJ. have enough flex to do that I, initial I'd climb. Me over. Yeah. <laughs> if I put my front tire on that, I probably just flip the Jeep. And that's but why like we this. say a medium buggy and an extreme Jeep. Yeah. Um, yeah, the whole trail is only about a mile long. We just rode with Randy to the beginning, and we're just walking up. It was a heck of a hike because so it's uphill. So the Grand Mesa Jeep Club uh, had a work day, and they installed this awesome uh, spill response kit on the trail to use. Okay, so this is a, when we, you'll see in our video, um, we all drive to the left where those people are standing. There's a, there's a bypass for this. This is an optional, optional obstacle. It is gnarly. This rig is enormous. Those are 42 or 43 inch tires. Yeah, and this is pretty sketchy and here. He's done this a lot. You can tell he, he knows where to put it. Um, the, I'm pretty sure his are 40s or 42s. I think they're all the same tires. They're all those, uh. Uh, super Swampers, and they apparently do really great on the rocks. They run them really low PSI. Uh, Randy only had good things to say about them, which they're su they're, they're called Super Swampers because they're meant for to be mud. Oh, mud like mud. driven like, in the swamp? Yeah. Okay. Well, they seem to do pretty well here. I yeah. mean, I didn't really notice a lot of well, tire think, slippage. They were kind of the OG big tire until just recently. There weren't other 40 inch oh. tires like the new Mickey Thompson. 43 and the, and the Trepidors have been around forever, but they're more of a competition tire. Yeah, and I guess, I mean, the tires don't really change a lot, so it's not like... Yeah, and so Randy here, um, his buggy has some incredible flex, but his tires are 15, I think he said? I think PSI so. Or something, and they should be a 5, which is a huge difference when you get down to those uh, numbers. They're beadlocked, they're, they're meant for this, but he is still breaking them in, they're brand new, I think his, you know... Maybe cool flex shot regardless. Miles. Yeah, this is an awesome <laughs> flex shot. And he would have, could have made it one of these times. He almost, he was so close. But right here he got slipped. Yeah, and then he's just on his sidewall and it's not doing anything over there. Yeah, in the back. Yeah. Like right, he was so close to one of these spots. I can't remember what it was. One of these you'll see that maybe it's when I, when I moved to the rear. You see me back behind that. I'm taking photos. I guess I could tell you a little bit about his buggy. It's a uh, 22 RE motor out of the 4Runner with a 4Runner uh, pretty much uh, a stock 5-speed transmission and then uh, the split case split case doubled or whatever the Toyota lingo is. It's like an FJ60 or an FJ80 split case transfer case. I can never remember what they call it, but it's like... You always have that fancy lingo, those it's like a, yeah, Toyotas. Toyota. It's like a doubler, <laughs> so he has two two four seven to one transfer cases so you can put it into low or double low and have like 10 to one or four to one yeah which is insane a it's, lot of times he just has you know feet off of all pedals and he's yeah, just it's crawling so low it's he can be bouncing it off the rev limiter and the tires are barely spinning um he wants to replace that engine though doesn't he yeah his buddy's replacing it with another 20 tory just a uh, one with less miles on it because that one oh. has like three hundred thousand. it's out of the okay the so same buggy, just yeah. newer Okay. And probably a rebuilt one, like where they go through and like replace piston rings and gaskets and stuff to make it run fresh. Okay, okay. So this is like the whole trail. It's basically just obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. Yeah, this trail is so much fun. There is no downtime. It took us on this day about two hours with these buggies, even with the, this guy breaking his rear drive shaft. Uh, well, the break was like 15 minutes. Yeah, but it's in like our, most people's. In our group, uh, it took us five hours with, uh, with three Jeeps. My and no TJ, break. an LJ on 37s, and a JK, a four-door JK on 39s. Um, we had to tug each other a few times. Uh, you'll see in the video, uh, we, we went on it way before this. I've just been so busy with work lately, we haven't had time to export any videos. Um, but we're gonna, we have them all edited. We have this yeah. one and then so all Billings. Yeah, so you'll see us go on Billings afterward, yeah. which is kind of neat I to see the, the difference. I the same line, yeah, in my TJ, but it's much different in a, in a, my TJ is very narrow compared to all these vehicles, probably like 15 inches more narrow. 
and so I can take a lot of different lines. Obviously, we're taking easy lines. My vehicle's still a, a road-going TJ. It's not a buggy. So, uh, but we have this one, and then we have Top of the World, which I shall upload soon. And then we have uh, what? Oh, tw another 21 road, mm -hmm. a more a recent one, and then uh, this is our most recent one. So stay tuned. Remember to watch our channel. Remember to subscribe. You can see in a lot of spots that Randy would be doing a lot better uh, if his tires were aired down. Again, he knows. We're all aware. Everyone knows. So we're reminding him all day. <laughs> uh, let us we're know in the comments. We're only bringing it up this much so you don't let us know no, in the comments. If you think they should be aired down, leave a comment, leave a like. Well, I guess, yeah, let we should have just not said anything. Yeah. And you know there'd be tons of people if you letting you know. Let us know what piece how you think you should be at. If you have Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Um, but he he gives it a lot of skinny pedal. He knows he, he's a good driver, so he you know, yeah he makes it through. Yeah, he, probably, he only had to give a, get a winch out one time during this whole day, I think, right? Uh, uh, on who? Uh, coming up when the rock bouncer rolls so oh, slowly. Yeah, he has to roll himself back over with the winch. Yeah, yeah that's no it. That stuff, yeah. yeah. Um, this is what's so awesome about buggies. Their center of gravity is so low that you can be tipped totally like sideways. That it's not, yeah. The axles are like, you know, most of the weight yeah. is all in the axles and tires. So it's you see them and they're at like 30 or 40 degrees off camera in, in a Jeep that would be you'd be on your side. Oh, and the width helps a lot. Most of these buggies are like 70 inches or wider, especially with the offset on their tires. Yeah, and the wheels. The wheels are so far out away from their body compared to the Jeep where they're underneath us. Well, yeah, because, you know, I drive it on the road. I can't have... <laughs> it is your daily driver. Here's the whole lineup, all five, or four, five. Five. Along the way, there are no brakes in billing. There are no... There's no break from the obstacles. It's... It's a ledge or a rock or an obstacle. Always, the entire mile is a is a challenge. It's, I mean, there's maybe 20 or 30 feet in between stuff like this, and that's a 40 inch tire. And so it looks like this. Yeah, that so wasn't a small ledge. That's you got to remember. These are monster tires. Mm -hmm. um, this is a buggy trail though, so it's it's rated seven or eight, I think. Is and there's some warnings in the beginning. Yeah, letting you know absolutely. It's not a trail to take lightly. And you'll see along the trail, they've had to increase uh, putting fences up and poles on the side and lots of signage. This trail recently, I have heard it's gotten a little abused. Yeah. So we're doing everything we can to pick up trash along the way. Stay on the trail, yeah. stay on the obstacles, not, don't go around them. A lot, of small, uh, a lot of small tire vehicles have been trying this trail. They have a lot of wheel speed, and so they just dig them out, and then they have to just turn around because they can't continue. So it's it's not a spot. It's, I I could barely do the trail with 35 inch tires on a TJ that has a ton of flex. I mean, well, and that's why we went with two rigs that had, had that were capable to pull us out and help us. Yeah, and yeah. We all have winches, our own. We all have recovery gear. We mm -hmm. all have two lockers. We all have body armor with rock sliders. I had no doors and no top, and it was February. It was freezing. You'll see. It was it was a miserable day. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt sometimes taking all of that stuff and making sure you're prepared and not trying trails that are over your limit. But it just ruins it for everyone else when mm -hmm. you do that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so here's the waterfall. This is the main attraction. This guy, as you can tell, has this is not his first radio. He this has, is the hard side of the waterfall. Yeah, he's taking the hard line. This is the obstacle on the trail. Um, I take my TG over there on the right. You'll see this red right uh, Jeep here. goes up the same line awesome. I did. So wheel speed is key on this obstacle. Uh, if you don't have the flex or the length or, you know, 50 inch tires, so I think what you need to just crawl this. <laughs> 50? Uh, is that you, like a thing? Yeah, there's like one. Remember that one in EJS, that one Jeep here that 
uh, one Jeep you're standing next to that four door like truck JK thing with the tires. Oh, okay. They're so like I'm gonna know if 50, they're fifty yeah. inches. Oh, they look like, okay. They look like balloons. Yeah, they're ridiculous how big they are. He does really well up that side. He did yeah. a great line. Yeah, that's the easier side. Uh, obviously, I had to take that side of my TJ. I, I you know, can't even dream about getting a tire. I'd just be crashing into the wall right here, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, totaling my vehicle. Uh, Randy, uh, you'll see he. If he, oh, if he was oh. aired down, he would have absolutely made it before. Um, I'll point it out. His his rear tire closest to us gets traction on one of well, these. It's pretty easy to see. And it just, it, he would have. It's right. No, not that, not that. Right there. Uh, 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 he let off. He lifted uh, his foot and he, I think, or, sh or he shifted. I don't know what he did. But he would have made it. You can see here he turns. Well, he does make it. it. Yeah. But he would have yeah, made it right yeah. there, even with his, even with that much tire pressure. Um, he's hitting his control arms right here, so maybe, yeah, maybe a little more tire, a little less length. But I mean, that's what he's got. Uh, so we have Joe here. He's uh, missing his completely built out he's got uh, he's, like I said 42s I think is what these are a ton of flex he has probably done this obstacle a lot you can tell mm -hmm. that he knows right where to put it he's just chatting with this guy and just gives it the berries and goes right on. yeah just another day no yeah, big that's deal a big, <laughs> that is huge <laughs> that's a huge obstacle this is not for these guys, that's this is when you when you're a group of buggies, this is just whatever and walk in the park. But for most, oh yeah, this truly is a medium buggy trail. Yeah, exactly. But for most off-roaders, this is gnarly. I mean, this is a 37-inch tire rock bouncer, and you can see he doesn't make it. He has to go around. So it's like this is a serious obstacle. He would have made it if he had 40s, but I don't know if his rig is set up for that. It's kind of a mini rock bouncer. The ones that I see over in the east are way bigger than this, and this has a. This just has a uh, Buick 33.8 uh, V6 supercharged engine, and those other guys have LSAs and oh, LS1. That's quite different. V8s, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good time when people start smoking the tires <laughs> like that. I always get excited, channeling my inner hood again. I was loving it. I got a ton of good photos of him spinning those, but. Like I said, he just doesn't have the tire. And the rock bouncer on the bottom, you can see those those uh, lower bars that that scratches right behind his tire. It's not a slider. They'll grab they'll grab the rock. He should he needs to put something over that like flat, like sheet metal even over those bars right below his butt. The so he can slide easier. Yeah, it only take him like five minutes, couple dollars. <laughs> well, That's how all modifications on your buggy. vehicle. He can just I don't know <laughs> do buggy stuff, fabricate. I don't, have, I don't have a buggy. I have a Jeep. A car. I have a, I have a road. It's a stock. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is the cutoff trail, right? We no, 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 not yet. Are off of it. This um, is right after the waterfall. Oh, this is the this last. This is where Randy rolled. You'll yeah, see. this is truly the end. So these pillars, these rock pillars, are the new ones. Our mm, new barriers. Yeah, just to keep people from going around the obstacle. Yeah. Zone. Oh, I found this on Facebook. Randy's old buggy, raising hell one. I think the steering is messed up right here. Joe is pulling them. He bent the roll cage in pretty bad. And this is why uh, this is a redemption trail for him. <laughs> yeah, you'll see his buggy. That's the same spot, but obviously now he's driving and not <laughs> rolling. Um, and that undercut is serious. He's using his passenger tire to lift the driver tire. It's uh, completely undercut right there. Yeah, the driver tire is not doing anything. No, that's a that's a heck of a climb. <laughs> yeah, so like we said, last time he ran this, he rolled right there. You saw it. That was uh, 2019. Made it all the way to the end. Yeah, towed his buggy back to the shop, started working on the other one, pulled the other one apart, and now this is it. Now this, that was essentially its maiden voyage, like, besides, you know, the rundown. Uh, this is the cutoff. This is like a 500-foot-long trail after Billings. It's optional, uh, It and it is 
a little more of a hard buggy trail. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be comfortable bringing my Jeep on this. I, Billings, I'll run any time, but this is like, I mean. Well, look at it. Those are 42s or 43s. It, it looks yeah, like just huge. a regular old mountain. You look at it and they're like, that's a trail. Yeah. And you just see rocks. Yeah, and I think uh, when I give you a drone shot of the whole, you see the whole entire trail. It's not long, but it is difficult. I mean, this is a very built-out Jeep, and he, well, you're, you're watching it. And I'm pretty sure this is his passenger's first time yeah. on a crazy trail. Yeah. <laughs> and he's doing that to her. Oh. All off-roaders are the same. That was a good shot. That is... Yeah, he's looking right at us, getting yeah. a picture, of course. Yeah, standing just to the right out of the frame, getting a good photo. And this guy's a good driver. He he didn't get stuck, or he and he knew right where to put that thing. I mean, for for having a, a modified stock vehicle uh, yeah, and a group of all buggies, it's you know you got to keep up. Like yeah, it looks awesome, and I love the folded down windshield look. Yeah, and I mean the first the YJ buggy. Uh, the very first vehicle in the group, the gray oh, one. Oh, yeah. That, I think... Is the shell of a YJ? Maybe, ha yeah, and I think only? maybe the frame. I think I saw some frame horns that were cut off. But, I mean, there oh. might be, like, a four-foot section of frame. Maybe the frame horns where the engine is. Oh, yeah, Maybe yeah. is it a YJ, but besides that, you can see where it's chopped off and the tubes are added, the one at the very top of the frame. Oh, and this is uh, the whole trail. That's it. You're looking at it. And uh, one guy rolled over. The heat. He rolls over... In the most anticlimactic way, <laughs> you'll see. Yeah, you'll practically miss it, so keep an eye out. Um, some of these obstacles are not like optional. It. I think that you have to go. Or that no, no, I think you more, can go around the other side yeah, on this more one. more gnarly, yeah. oh. an even harder one. Oh. <laughs> That's the easy side, I think. And a lot of these obstacles are set up, uh, so you have to do a front dig. Oh, he's rolled. Oh, and we missed it. Way to go. See those bars around the muffler? These right here. Uh, yeah, we missed it, but one of the uh, one of the little chidlins there got it on his cell phone, and I recorded it on my cell phone. We were all watching Randy here. I just left the drone recording. Um, we were able to went him right back up. He, he remembered to turn off the engine uh, as he, you know, right after he rolled over and it wasn't completely on his side. He was like, kind of like, just extremely tilted. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, yeah. it wasn't bad because I mean, I've seen buggies put, get put onto the side and they'll instantly bend a push rod. The piston will fill up with oil or whatever and it's over. Yeah, and his passenger wheels are still holding all of the weight almost. But yeah, he's like not really, oh yeah, see right here. It was so slow. And he's rolled. Yeah, it flop. <laughs> it's a flop yeah, on this side. You know, you roll. It was fine. Instantly back on. Isn't a flop like when you're pretending in soccer? That's a good. We should call it that when they're just no, like flop is not when exciting. You flop on your side. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, like a flop. Yeah, I get that. No, yeah, that's the that's a turn. Because you don't. It's a roll is onto your top. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, at least some weight on the bars. I guess he did. You can see some scratches there. Yeah, a little. Oh, yeah, right by the passenger's shoulder. Mm-hmm. And remember, even if you're having fun on the trail, always remember to pick up your trash. Keep the trail nice. This is for everyone. We all want to enjoy it. Is this the end of the cutoff trail? Yeah, the guy uh, that just rolled over, Nick, he was at the end. He pulled up and off. And then he, this is right where Nick rolled over. And then Randy's on the second. There's like two, there's like maybe two, three, or four obstacles all in a row, but they're they're substantial. These guys have, these this group makes it look so easy. This is yes. probably like their 20th time or more, you know, uh, from what I can see on Facebook, they run it all the time. It's yeah, not, they were rarely spotting each other and not because they were too arrogant to be spotted, but because <laughs> they already knew the line. Yeah, oh yeah, like the two guys on the very left of the frame uh, with the, green shirt he was in the front in the yj and he didn't use he didn't need a spot at once mm -hmm. he went up every obstacle just I mean, you, you hardly see him because he was so fast <laughs> i know i was running to keep up I know. <laughs> Look at that same spot where that guy rolled just a different line i think randy takes a little bit better line he's got the flex to get that tire up yeah and a little bit longer wheelbase yeah he's about 120 inches 
which is long. Sorry. My Jeep is only 93. And when it starts to flex out and the tires come closer together, it's you know probably down to 90 inches. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I can't believe we made it through 25 minutes together. Remember to subscribe. You'll have 10 <laughs> years good luck. And for every subscription, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It feels great. It's great to do a service. Yeah, come back and watch us go on Billings in our Jeep. Yeah, we'll upload it soon. I uh, promise. Have a good day. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.